the seminary is built on three things. One, a life of discipleship. A discipleship in the liturgy and in the uh, knowledge of the Bible and the Fathers. Second, uh, it's on the base of purity. Blessed are those who are pure in heart. And there is no other place where the environment can really help you to be pure other than this pristine environment of St. Mary and St. Moses Abbey. And the third element is a life of service. So here, after the seminarians are educated in a life of prayer and study and contemplation, they enter the world for 10 weeks for a life of prayer, service, and help others. And over the two years of the program, where they alternate between working here in the seminary and studying every day and attending the liturgical life and out in the churches to serve for 10 weeks every year. There is nothing one can do for the formation of an individual to be a true seminarian and understanding of the knowledge of God than this. I'd like to congratulate the fathers, the monks, our children who completed uh, two years in the boarding seminary here and came today to celebrate their graduation. i like to congratulate them for uh, this achievement. And the idea of the boarding seminary is to live what you study. To live it here. To fear God every day in your life. To glorify God and to live and to apply what you learn. Because the true theologian is also a disciple. And the Lord said, go and make disciples of the whole world. Each one of them, over the course of the two years, have taken 72 credit hours. Every credit hour is 15 hours of real sitting here. They took over 48 exams in 25 uh, subjects. They wrote over 40 papers, scholarly papers, because they got attended so many times, <laughs> until they became scholarly. Uh, 40 papers, all of that over the span of two years. And they completed also 10 weeks of internship in three churches last year, and this year we will continue to have internship.
I will cherish the time I spent here at St. Athanasius Boarding Seminary, and I thank God for allowing me to, to learn how to manage my time, to be more confident in my interactions with visitors, and to apply everything we were taught for the glory of His name. My wish for this program is for, for it to prosper, grow, and to fill every seat. I highly encourage those who are considering and intending to do it with a prepared mind and a willful spirit. On this occasion, I would like to say first thing that uh, the life in the seminary or studying in the seminary as uh, His Grace and Yusuf taught us uh, at the very first day. He said it's not about information. It has nothing to do with knowledge. Even though knowledge is involved, but uh, uh, throughout this journey, I found out that it's actually uh, a whole life. Being in the forefront of the beginning of a newly innovative approach to knowledge has humbled me to the highest degree, and I am unworthy of being part of such a prestigious program, and I am thankful that God has brought me here today. the grace of God, we are here today, and we can rejoice with David the psalmist saying, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So now what? We are invested into this new reformation of the church to implant knowledge and understanding to everybody we serve, through the, through the way we live and through the way we teach others the beauty of the Orthodox faith. First and foremost, I want to thank God for this amazing opportunity in which He has used to begin the process to re reorient my whole life and self towards Him. When I graduated from my undergraduate degree in May 2014, I did not think I would be a seminarian in a Coptic Abbey of all places. So I offer thanks to you, God, for you moved my life in a way that I sometimes even have a hard time describing. 